what's going on everyone this is tony with rchelp.com today's video we're back on the goblin and well we got to kind of clean these wires up a little bit that's uh that's just making my ocd to go nuts so that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video is wire management we're going to be shortening these wires as you can see here i've got my crimpers i got a kit that has all of my ends that i need to put on it and it's just a matter of getting it done now i do have a video you can see it right up here in the top right where i show up close what i do with these pliers that i keep dropping because of the cheap plastic i show up close exactly what i'll be doing but in this video is basically just keeping you guys informed of what's going on with this helicopter so first things first we've got to grab our allen driver and take our gyro loose and drop the screw while we're at it. All right, now that the gyro is loose, and I drop a screw on the floor, <laughs> we can actually get started. Now on these servos, I have removed three out of the four screws on each one of them, so I've only got to take out one screw in each servo. The first servo we're going to be dealing with is going to be the aileron servo or the servo that controls over here on the right side because that one is going to be the shortest of them all. I do have my 1.5 millimeter Allen driver and that's what we'll need to take that off. But first things first, go ahead and unplug this servo. Then we're just going to set the gyro down about where it goes. Look where the wire goes in here and figure out how we want to route it. I think on this one, I want to go forward and then under the servo and then come back into the gyro. Leave a little bit of slack so you're not pulling against the gyro. And I think we're going to cut it right there. So as you can see, we're removing a pretty substantial amount of wire off of this servo. No turn back now. Ta da! Alright, take this, go ahead and pull out this last screw in the servo. Let me get this servo out of there. Another reason that I'm doing it from this one and then working my way around is because we can leave this servo off whenever we start wire managing the other ones like this one here that's running underneath this servo. So it just makes it a lot easier. So now we just need to separate the wires. Don't want to separate them too awful much. And then we'll go ahead and strip back the insulation. Again, you can click on the little eye in the top right corner of the screen and I walk you through exactly what I'm doing here up close and personal style. Go ahead and grab all of our terminals. And I've got two different kinds here. I've got the cheap silver, and then I got the, I probably overpaid for uh, gold plated. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to use these ends out of this kit, or if I can reuse the ends that are already on here. So we'll just go ahead and set them aside and we'll see if we can't reuse these. If not, it's really no big deal. Just means I'll have them for another project. All right. Get this in there. Three clicks on this one seems to be about perfect. I do need to pull one of these out to see which way they're facing. So facing up, brown is on the right. And the reason I do that is so whenever I go to put them in, I don't have to twist the wire around. Go ahead and pull that wire back a little bit more. Make sure our wires are nice and straight. And then put them on in. pretty good 
I do have another pair of pliers over here that I actually use on the JST connectors. But I'm going to use this to try to close up the little connector that goes around the insulation. Just try to make it a little bit neater. There we go. Give it a tug test. Everything looks good. I do need to strip back a little bit more of these wires. Grab us another terminal. Go ahead and get the orange and brown wire out of the way. And get the red wire put up in there. When it comes to crimpers, you definitely get what you pay for. Alright, now that's pretty good. Check it. Yeah, it's pretty close to the same length. Unless you do a thousand of these in a row, you'll probably never get every one of them exact. Grab our third one. Actually want to crimp down a little bit more on the wire. All right, there we go. There we go. So now we can take this plug off and see if we can reuse the plug. Sometimes you can, sometimes you cannot. Stick it up in there. You know what? I'm just going to test one of them instead of trying to do all three. And that is wicked tight. Or is that just pushing that up? No, that ain't going to go. I don't like it. So, go ahead and pull that wire back out of there. And let's compare it to the other wire. Or the other uh, plugs. Yep, they're different. They got a different length on them. So, we know we're going to need to use these ends on all the other ones. So, might as well go ahead and just pull them out. And I know these plugs work, or these ends work in these plugs here, so put them all in at once. I did have some of them that kind of got a little bit of an angle to them, so they're being kind of a booger to get pushed in there. So we'll pull out our trusty pokey bit. We'll get them up in there. Just like that. And that fast, we've just wire managed the aileron servo. All right, get everything set out the way here. This is the old plug. Don't want to confuse that with the new one. Go ahead and bring this back over. And just for good measure, we're gonna go ahead and just plug this servo back in. That way we know where it goes without having to look it back up in the uh, instructions. So what we'll is kind of fold that off kind of like that. So I do think I like how that one's running. I think we'll do that one next. All right, go ahead and set that in there about where it's going to be. Get a rough measurement about right there. Go ahead and grab our cutters. 
and cut it off. One thing to note, I don't have a battery on this, so cutting through all the wires, not going to hurt it. You shouldn't be doing this with a battery plugged in anyway, but stranger things have happened. Go ahead and set that little piece of wire off to the side. Grab our Allen wrench and go ahead and pull this servo out. Go ahead and pop the ball link off of it and set her out the way. And then it's rinse and repeat for these next two. All right, with that third one made, we can start putting it back on. Go ahead and stick the pitch servo back on. Do want to kind of look and see where, I, where and how I need to run these wires because it's a lot easier to do it with the servo loose than it is when the servo is tied down. All right, perfect. Go ahead and grab three, four of our screws, and we'll get it secured back on the helicopter for what I hope is the last time. And for anybody wondering, these are BK3002 servos. These screws are going into plastic, so no thread lock. Let's take a look at one more servo real quick. We got this rudder servo, and... Quite honestly, the way I have it ran, I think it'd be all right. So I got the rudder servo coming out, going down, up underneath, and then coming up along this wall, up through here, and then it goes in and then curves in to the gyro. So that should be just fine. I shouldn't have to wire manage that. The ESC, I definitely will not have to wire manage. Uh, I'm using pretty much every single inch of that poor guy. You can see him down there. And he's... Uh, I remember him the last time we did this. He stretched pretty tight. Let's go ahead and get this pitch servo plugged back in. So the one without the linkage on it is the uh, elevator. Let's go ahead and pop him back on. Maybe. Maybe I should have got my ball link pliers out for this. Alright, grab me four screws. I do think... Let's see. That's going to be there. This guy's going to be there. Yep, I want him going in front of the Aileron servo. So we'll go ahead and tuck him right there. And perfect. Hold him in place. Screw them in for the last time. And last but not least, this one has to kind of curve under itself in order to work the way I want it to. And even then, the polarities I really wish the brown was on top right here. That'd make it a lot easier. It'd be fine. All right, grab our four final screws. Let's go ahead and get this guy on there. Scorpion tools, man. They fit these screws so well. All right. There we go. 
and pop this ball link back on. All right, grab our screws to secure the gyro down. This will not be the last time we screw this down, so I'm not using any thread lock. We'll have to take it off and put the uh, tail boom back on. And there we go. I mean, that's a whole lot cleaner than it was, and we took off quite a bit of wire off of this poor little helicopter. Does it save weight? No. Does it look better and allow my OCD to sleep at night? Yes, <laughs> most definitely. So the only reason you would really do this is if you're really OCD or if you really like all the clean, all the clean lines. And that's pretty much why I do it. We do have the orange wire right here that is from the tail servo. We're not going to cut it. We're just going to wire and manage that up in here. And then the yellow wire, and then we have the rest of the wires in here that you can see are from the ESC and we just got to tie those up and that'll be done so guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're not subscribed yeah, right there click that subscribe button go ahead and ring that bell that way you know when we come out with videos like this questions comments suggestions post them in the comment section below and as always I want to thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next video